Hi, this is Patrick Hunt here, and I just want to talk a little bit about overlapping cropping and intercropping. So in this section of the bed here, um, from over the winter we have some, some broccoli plants um, that are doing their thing in this strip here. Um, and I've also recently sown some broad beans. Uh, they were planted out from the polytunnel recently. There's a row here and a row here, a zigzag row. And there's about two foot between the row, so that's 60 centimetres. And what I'm going to do is, while these beans are very small, I'm going to use this space in the middle to grow a catch crop or something that's going to be in and out very fast and will provide um, some, 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 some food. So what I've got here are some basically radishes, multi-sown um, in a modular tray. And all you have to do is, between the rows of broad beans that you've either sown directly or pricked out, is just with a dibber, again, make a little hole like that. Just put in a few just to, to demonstrate, like that. Let's do three. Make a little hole, and then put your, your module, just gently tease them out. They're barely holding the module together. Uh, they're just starting to show roots on the edge of the module, but that's fine. Pop them in like that, and they will provide a a little catch crop of radishes and radishes do best in the early part of the year they get very spicy if you grow them later in the year too hot but at this time of the year um it's ideal for a few a few radishes so i'll just drop those in there that's that's fine i'll do one more and uh in this section of the bed because i've got a mix of different crops i've got some older crops that are coming kind of come out like this um kale here and the the these um brassicas here they're going to come out i can't really put the net over it but to be honest it'll be fine because uh a lot of these crops are hardy enough the radishes especially will be fine um it might be more of a, a concern on more tender leaves such as lettuce which i've recently done as well but yeah so once that's in like that something like 15 centimeters apart 15 20 centimeters apart is fine just give them a little water in and that will produce a little clump of radishes and um when they're big enough, I'll just harvest them and chop them up into salads. Thanks very much.